Meet Thespo Robot, all singing, all dancing and welcoming visitors to robots, opening in London Wednesday. It's the largest collection of humanoid machines ever to go on show, and they go back a surprisingly long way. The Science Museum exploring our 500-year-old obsession with creating automatons and what it means to be human. The show explores not how, but why. We're fascinated with recreating nature. This clockwork swan has enchanted crowds for 250 years. Our earliest mechanized selves were religious. This monk from 1560 beats his chest in prayer to inspire faith and awe. He still works. The word robot first appeared in 1920, and filmmakers were soon in thrall, from Fritz Lang's Metropolis to the Terminator. But these are the bots that could populate our future, working alongside us in factories, caring for us, teaching autistic children how to read faces. We really raise these questions of what sort of relationships do we want to have with robots in the future? Because as, as this technology develops and becomes more prevalent, um, it's something that we're going to have to consider as a society as a whole and make these decisions um, before the technology really gets there. Realistic humanoids stir an instinctive emotional response. But there are things the most advanced robots can only impersonate. Just because I'm seeing that I could be kind of both thespians personable, but there's an actor behind that screen. We can't yet build robots with hopes and dreams of their own, but their existence says much about ours.